Hello guys, welcome back to the Lego Book Channel and today we will be unboxing the Lego Creator 3 in 1 Mighty Dinosaur set. Now this set is basically three different builds in one set. So uh, first we have the T-Rex, then we have the Pterodactyl and then we have the Triceratops. So let's, let's open it up. There's not much to see in the normal, like the box. It's just these bits. I mean, not bits, but it's nothing more. In the back of the front. So now let's open this up. Now, they're made kind of like the mechs, because uh, they have those like ball joints from Lego. So I can't wait to animate this as well, because it's like different types of animation because for the mechs and this you can like move around the hands the legs stuff like that let's see if this oh that is not really hold up let's see if this bag has numbered I mean let's see if this set has numbered bag No bad moment, but I can't.
guys, I finished building the T-Rex, so this is what we have. First we have this kind of ribcage looking thing, yeah, it just burns. It's just like an extra piece. But then we have the T-Rex over here. It has one ball joint over here. Uh, this kind of, yeah, that kind of mechanism over there. We have a ball joint for the hands. One way joint over here, another ball joint over here, a big ball joint over here where you can move around the leg and stuff. You can't really move around the, the feet much, but it's just a little bit. Then you have the claws, which only this the middle one moves around, nothing else. Then we have the tail, we have one ball joint over here, one over here. This is an unfortunate, it's just one way joint. So yeah. It, I try like uh, making this guy stand up, but it's a bit hard because I'm not sure how you you're supposed to do this. So I'm guessing when I animate this, it's gonna be a bit tricky. Which I kinda want it to be, like it's kinda new. I kinda want it to be hard. I've never really animated anything else apart from like normal Lego minifigures. So this is gonna be pretty new. Oh yeah, there's also this whole like jaw mechanism. It's just the pieces on it. And it like opens and closes. It has that really nice sound. So next I'm gonna build the Tyrannosaurus, no it's Triceratops, yeah, the Triceratops next and then I'll give a little review about it, then I'll build the Pterodactyl, Pterodactyl and then give a review about it, so that's how it's gonna be in the video. Alright, so I'm gonna build the Triceratops now. Alright guys, I finished building the Triceratops and this is how it came out. Um, personally, uh, this, it's not as good as the T-Rex, like there's not many things you can do with this one. So these pieces only move forward, these front legs, and the back ones have a ball joint so that can move from back, side to side. Then we have the tail, which is actually shorter than the T-Rex, but yeah, uh, the proper like part of the Triceratops, it's it's only a few pieces, like, um, so there's only like three horns that are used. Uh, you can't move this all the way back, so let's so say you have like that. Back in, you can't have the whole head go down or it'll just come up. And if you have it like this, you can't move the head all the way up because this is blocking it. So, this is a more of a cramped kind of build for the three in one a whole set. This is how many pieces were left over, so a lot more than the leftover pieces for the triceratops triceratops? no for the t-rex yeah this is the triceratops so this is a lot more pieces left over from the t-rex okay so i'm gonna start building the pterodactyl all right guys i finished uh, building the pterodactyl and it actually looks really nice uh, the face um, I think Lego could have done a better job. It just looks derpy. It just looks funny. Um, so the whole like um, you know uh, build it stands up on these claws, yeah, claws pieces, and you can move them around. Like it's only around that way you can move them around. Uh, it also has a tail, like just a tiny tail. 
kind of gets in the way, not gonna lie. So you have that, then you have the link that says one, two, and three. Three different joints for the links. So this is very like, you can animate this like very well. Uh, the head also has a ball joint for it, so you can move that around. Yeah, I mean, compared to the Triceratops, this this is be better. So, but the thing is, I'm most likely not gonna be able to animate this guy, just because he's more of a freak. Because you know, tri um, okay, uh, pterodactyls they fly mostly, and um, I I just don't want to animate something. Like flying and it's this big so it's gonna be hard to like move it around while it's flying so in my other videos you're probably just gonna see the uh the t-rex so yeah uh but not gonna lie this build is really good like you can mess around with this a lot like you can make it in so many different positions One. So yeah, mostly I'm going to be using the T-Rex, not the Triceratops or this uh, Pterodactyl, but yeah, this 3-in-1 build was, I mean 3-in-1 set, I really liked it, it's really good, I actually recommend this. Uh, so that's it for the 2020 and 2017 builds. Uh, next week it's probably gonna be an animation so I'm gonna uh, each week after this I'm gonna probably upload an animation for each of these builds so I'm gonna do an animation for the Spider-Man build as well mech uh, I'm gonna make uh, another one for the Iron Man uh, another one for the Mandalorian which I can't wait She's thinking something really big for that. Uh, the Jurassic World one, I'm gonna animate that as well. And I'm gonna animate uh, something really nice for the 3 in 1 set. I hope I could include all three of them for, for that video, but yeah. So that's a heads up for my next videos that will be coming out each week. So um, that's it, folks. Bye!